This episode of A News is brought to you by Ting, mobile that makes sense. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, we're about to shoot today's episode. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for uh, teaching me my name. Well, of course. I wouldn't want you to starve to death. <laughs> oh, you mean like the superb fairy wren? Yes. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. Just like my parents, the superb fairy wren names its babies. Instead of first names, mama birds pick a family name such as Williams or Farnham that she calls the entire family. Why is this necessary, you ask? Well, let's just say a wren's singing voice is better than its eyesight. Sometimes a mother cuckoo will sneakily place her eggs in a wren's nest to avoid having to take care of her young. The problem is that cuckoos hatch earlier and are larger, but sometimes wrens don't notice because their vision is so poor. So in order to detect imposters, superb fairy wrens will sing a unique tune with the family name in it over and over to their eggs. You know how they say human babies can hear while they're still in their mother's womb? The same idea applies to chicks in the egg. By the time they hatch, the chicks know the melody by heart and can sing it back to their mom. Cuckoos, on the other hand, are usually dropped into a wren nest so close to when they hatch that they are unable to learn the song in time. So whenever mom comes home with dinner, she only feeds the ones who know the family tune. On the downside, if a wren chick forgets its family name, it will starve to death. Oh, hold on a second. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Do you still remember your name? Yes, it's Alex. Well, it's time for you to leave the nest. We're also dropping you from our family plan. What? You're not a baby bird anymore. Okay, that's fine. You know, I I'll still call you every Sunday. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll use Ping. It's a new mobile service that only charges you for the time you actually use it. They don't lock you into a contract or even make you pick a plan. It's a pretty sweet deal. Yeah, I, I always do. Um, Mom, I gotta finish up this episode, okay? Okay, bye, honey. Okay. All right, so for all you guys watching, go check out anews.ting.com and click on the saving calculator to see just how much Ting can save you over the next two years. And remember that every visit to the link helps support Animalist News. So what's the hardest thing you had to learn after leaving your nest? Let me know in the comments below. Check out these other videos over here. Subscribe and share this with your friends, especially your moms. And I'll see you hairy mammals next time. I need to change my underwear. Like now. It's bad.